What's going on everybody? Thank you so much for tuning in for another video. It's been a minute, I know. Um, again, as always, it's been busy, but anyway, first and foremost, I wanna say Happy New Year. Today's January 1st. I know for some of you that are thinking it's Kristen's birthday, yes, it is. So happy birthday, Kristen, you are amazing uh, on so many levels and uh, also for letting me go fishing on your birthday. But it's only gonna be for a couple hours. And today we're gonna be hole hopping for crappies. The goal is to get a few and we're just gonna punch some holes and then go hole hopping in between to try to stay on top of them. Uh, kind of where I'm at on the lake, sometimes you can get a whole bunch of them and then the other times you can just get a few here and there. So you just gotta work those marks, get them, and then ultimately we're just gonna be releasing today. Um, we got some fish in the freezer already, so no big deal. Don't need to take home any more than I need. So anyway, without further ado, we're gonna drill some holes and then we're gonna get at it. All right, guys, I don't know if you can see it, but uh, first drop, we're going down. Got a couple marking, which you guys didn't see is I actually uh, forgot to hit the record button. I'm trying to use the uh, iPhone today with a mic, but anyway, we've got a mark down there. All I'm doing is just giving a little, little taps. Little wrist flicks. See if that can't get him to come. Oh, now we got another one underneath him. That's not always a bad thing, except he's going straight down. So, one of the nice things is if you can get two, um, two fish to show up. Oh, sorry, one just showed up on my screen. He's coming. Nice and pink mark on the Vex. Slowly starting to follow me up. So is the mark underneath him. He's moving too. So one thing with black crappies, they're schooling fish and they're aggressive. So if you can get two or more to commit, you're going to end up having a competition. And that's perfect for you trying to catch them. It's exactly what you want. Now this one's stalled out here. So what I'll do is I'll drop down past them sometimes. Try to get that other one to get, see if he'll go. But now the other mark has gone away. That's kind of the trade-off when you do that. But uh, let's see if we can't get him to go. Come on. All right, here he comes. Here he comes. Oh, he missed it. He charged up to it and missed it. There we are. That guy totally slacklined me. Oh no, no, it came off, shoot. Okay, well, here's the nice thing about using plastics. You can just drop right back down, go and get them. All right guys, so we moved again. Um, nothing was happening in that hole. Here I got a few marks coming in and out. So we're gonna try to fish this one a little bit. See if we can ice this first one here. Get the monkey off her back. There we go. This guy's pink. He's starting to move. Come on. Come on. Here he comes. There we go, guys. Does not feel very big, but we'll take it for the first one. Like I said, not very big. But, get it choked pretty good. But 
but there you go that's nice thing about using little tungstens they just pop out but there's another one down there so that guy's gone released well we're in the 30 foot 33 foot range so gotta be careful with how you bring them up and everything like that because that's when their air bladder can start popping at that point whether you want to keep or not you better keep them but that was the first one size can only get bigger I hope <laughs> all right all right guys switch up plastic again just so white one with a tentacle and then uh, check the holes and I quickly so there's a mark here. So, like I said, constantly checking. There we are. There we are, guys. Got a fish on. Plastics work well. And uh, definitely, whoops, definitely worth the change, I guess. It's paid off. I'm hooked right in the top of the mouth. Boom. Nice and easy. I'm gonna try to get. Oh. He opened his mouth. There it goes. Yes, yes. There we go. Got one with a little bit more size, and uh, change the plastic moves off. So now I got nothing marking in the hole. We'll switch her over to another All right, guys. One. Little mid fish update. Uh, as you can tell, it's been a bit of a struggle, but uh, I just went and punched a few more holes, and uh, so far I'm like what I'm seeing. There's a lot more marks in there, so see if punching a few more holes pays off. Here we go. All right, guys. As I mentioned in my little update there, drilled a few more holes. Like what I'm seeing over here. And uh, right now I got a mark. It's in about 15 feet. Oh, he's already starting to get charged up. Here he comes. There he is. Sometimes he's got to keep grinding. This guy's by no means big. Oh, about your average size. Just didn't put up much of a fight. Pinned right at the top of the mouth again. Just right where you want him, except I can't get this jig out. See? Oh. There we are. Another. Beauty, beauty crappy. All right, let's see if we can't get a nice release on him. Oh, he's changing his mood. There's one showing up above it. Oh, no, there's another. There's two more, two more new marks. The bottom one's coming up for me. He's racing. There we are. See, there's competition at its finest. I won't say this thing's anything big as he pulls the reel out of my. But again, a nice little average size. All right, check it out of his mouth. Ouch, you're poking me. There he goes. Yes. Picky bite. Picky bite. But moving, hole hopping, pays off again. All right, guys. Had to make uh, end the video there. Uh, my phone's dying, so I got like 5% left. So I want to do a quick outro. So hopefully I got my point across um, with crappy fishing. Sometimes you got to punch a bunch of holes. It's not uncommon for guys to punch like 50 to 100 holes to get on top of them and then stay on top of them is constantly moving. 
constantly checking. Like I fished a hole for maybe like five minutes and then on to the next one and then on to the next one and on to the next one. You kind of get the idea. Hopefully I got that point across. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. I'm gonna try to do better with videos. Um, that's kind of my New Year's resolution for 2020 is kind of try to always film something when I'm out fishing. So anyway, thank you so much for watching. Um, if you like what you see, give it a thumbs up, um, share it, do all that fun stuff. Tell your friends, tell all your fish friends. Anyway, thanks so much. Um, yeah, until next time, peace.